His name is... I'm gonna be filming the video names I love but won't be using video. I am so excited for this and then at the end I'm gonna be sharing our baby boy's name with you guys, which we love. It is perfect for our family. I'm actually in our baby boy's nursery right now. Here, I'll bring this little piece in. It's a little, this is what I'll show you guys. It's just a little ottoman poof thing for our feet. So that kind of gives you an idea of like the decor kind of vibes we're going for. And this is not gonna stay that color. I should probably mention that. That's gonna be all white. And it's gonna be a very like stylish, modern, minimalistic, um, take on a boy nursery. I'm gonna share boy names first and then in that list of the boy names is gonna be our baby boy's name So be on the lookout think of the name you think would best perfectly suit Grant and I my husband because I do think this name suits us perfectly if you actually Know who Grant and I are as humans as people. I think this name is perfect for our little family We're getting ready to create. I hope I don't make it obvious when I say his name <laughs> Okay, don't be going through my bags of baby stuff. Don't be showing people. I thought I had no girl names, but I actually have a lot and they're like so cute. So definitely stick around and listen to those girl names cause they're real cute. Okay, I gotta say my style of names is I like unique. Some are like super unique, um, but I do like unique names. I don't like Alyssa and um, like, I don't want to say someone named that, like Fred, like James, Jim, you know, like typical names, Dylan, you know, just typical names I don't love. However, Dylan for a girl's name could be so cute. I'm adding that to my list. Wow, that's actually cute. Dylan for a girl's name? Okay. 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 Little. Okay, starting with the boy's name. So once again, in this boy's list is my baby boy's name, our baby boy's name. Love it. So guess what you think the name is and comment it down below and then you'll find out at the end of the video. Okay, starting off with a banger. That's such a stupid word. Starting off with a great name. I was dead set that this was going to be our boy's name and it is Brooks. I love that name, B-R-O-O-K-S, Brooks. It's perfect, um, however, I do think it is starting to get, a, like it's gonna become more of a popular name, I have a feeling. Um, Jade uh, off of The Bachelor, she named her baby boy Brooks, so when I saw that I was like, oh my gosh, because I haven't actually seen anyone name their child that. But I just love that, like baby Brooks, and then as he gets older, like his name to be Brooks, I do think that is a strong name, that's something for sure that Grant really, really wanted is he wanted a strong, like powerful name. It was at the top of our list, our top three, actually our top two. It was the name we went with and then Brooks. Um, and I was for sure that, like this was gonna be our baby boy's name. Um, like just baby Brooks, like that's the cutest thing in the world. So name your boy Brooks if you're listening to this. I love that name. Okay, and then next is Reese. I actually like this name for a girl and a boy, but I'm just gonna leave it simple, Reese. I like that name. Um, Oakley, I have us in the boy list, but this might be a girl's name now that I'm thinking about it. When I was sorting, I'm like, I don't know, is, is Oakley a boy name? So maybe I like Oakley for a girl, but I definitely do like that name. Yeah, I think it's a girl name, more I'm talking, so we'll scratch that. Um, okay, Channing, I think that's cute, sweet. Um, the next name I really love is Everett. Um, I think that is like, just Everett. That's a good name. Like it's a it's a longer name. I do like shorter names. I would have to say, even though I think all these are pretty long. But Everett is like so unique and so amazing. I think it is such like a powerful name too. Um, I think that's a good name. Um, this next name I love. I love. I love. I love. And that is the name Jet. I love this name so much. J-E-T-T, -T. I love that name, Jet. I think it is amazing. The next name is Wesson. I think it is so like different and unique. And um, Wesson, I just, I like it. It came off of the word Weston. West, 
word name the name Weston I feel like I've heard of people named Weston before but I don't like the way the T flows with that so I came up with it honestly on my own but I'm sure definitely people are named this but Weston I really really like that and then um, like for short someone could be called Wes but I like the name Weston um, the next name is Asher I love this name I think that is like once again, just a really cute, like, cool name and unique. Um, so, Baby Asher, that is such a good name. Oh, my gosh. The next name, okay, 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 okay. These next two are going to be a little bit unique where someone might think that it's, like, too unique, too much, but I really like these names, so that's why they're in this. Um, but it would be definitely too much for Grant, my husband, but, okay, the name is Coast. I love that name. Coast, Baby Coast. It's just very unique, obviously. Maybe if you're like a boho, like living on the beach or something. Maybe not the beach if it's Coast, but whatever. I like the name. I think that's so cute. I'm trying to think if it could work for a girl. But I think it would be a good boy name. But whatever so coast I just like it the next name that is unique again is Fox I think that's cute um some people are probably like what the heck that's literally an animal but I like the name Fox I think Sarah's day here on YouTube I'm pretty sure she named her baby boy Fox I think that's where I got this from actually um but I like the name Fox and it's very like if you like the short simple names perfect or even for a middle name, that'd be great. I do have some really good middle name options, so I should probably make a video on that because I have some really good middle names. But next up is Liam. I love this name. I do think it is going to start to get um, to be a popular name in this like next generation coming up. Um, but nonetheless, I do still love it. But if you do, definitely want your name to be unique. Um, I don't think it's super unique, but I do love the name Liam. The next name is kind of along those same lines. That's Beckham. I love the name Beckham. I think it is like a, uh, like, I was going to say polite name, but like, it's very sophisticated for sure. I definitely like the name Beckham. Um, next is Grayson. I really like this name. So Grayson. Um, the next name is Jameson. I really like that name too. Um, my dad's name is James and then like his dad's name is James. So it's a little too close because I don't want, I don't know, I don't know, but, and then also Grant didn't like it for our baby particularly because it is like an alcohol, and we didn't really want to be naming our kid after alcohol, but um, I do really like the name Jameson. Um, next is the name Rhett. I love that name, R-H-E-T-T. -T. I really like the way double T's look together. Oh, I love the way, the way that looks. Next name is Bennett, and then the next name after that is Beckett. So those are very close, but I think they're both like sophisticated. Like, I don't know why I want to keep using the word polite. Like a lot of these B word, B names, I think are like polite. I don't know. That sounds so weird, but Bennett and Beckett, I love. I brought this coffee out and I haven't even drank it once. Holy shnipers. Can you see that? I'm so dumb. Okay, you can't see. I think it's down too low. <laughs> Okay, hey, you can't see when I turn. Okay, I literally just put out coffee. I'm the best. Okay, and then last but not least for boys is the name Otto. I think it is different. I think this could work for a girl too. Actually, maybe it is more of a girl name once again. <laughs> um, but the name Otto, I like that. It's short, cute, unique, simple, straight to the point. The name Otto, I think is so cute. I definitely think it's a girl's name now. So anyways, we're going to get rolling into the girl names. So... In that list was our boy's name. <laughs> I love our boy's name. Whatever. I love it. So if you don't like any of those names, well, girl, I'm sorry. At least it's not your baby. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so going into girl's name, starting out is Reese. Once again, I have that in the boy's list, but I love it for boy and girl. I wanted that to be like our number one pick, but Grant didn't like it because he thinks it's a stripper's name and he thinks it's like Reese PC. So whatever but I like the name Reese I think it is beautiful I really think it's a beautiful girl's name and then also don't forget about Otto because and I think I had another one on the boys list that could be a girl's name those are cute okay next is Piper I think this is just the cutest freaking name like a little baby named Piper you could name her oh you could nickname Piper P oh 
<laughs> I think Piper is so cute. It's just like a cute name. Um, and the next one, this one is unique, but Poppy. I think that's cute. Um, Grant would hate this name <laughs> so much, but, and maybe it's too unique for you too, but I think the name Poppy is cute. Um, Arlo is the next name. I think that is a little bit more of like a stronger name. Um, however, I don't like the name Harlow. I know the name Harlow is becoming like a name that people are using. You use your name, your baby's beautiful, and if you have a baby named Harlow, it's the best name ever, you know? But for me, I'm not loving the name Harlow, but I do like the name Arlo. So who knows what that's supposed to say about me. The next name, I love this name, very short and to the point. The next name is Pia. I actually brought this name up to Grant, and I should have laughed because that's a name Grant's just not going to like. There's no way around that. Um, but I think it's beautiful, so the name Pia, I think it's cute. You probably are like Grant and don't. I'm not very confident in my name decisions. Um, okay, so next name is Sutton, and I think the best middle name ever to go with Sutton would be Sutton J, spelled like more feminine, J-A-E. That's actually the middle name that we're going to use for our baby girl, um, and it goes into a lot of background history with family as well. But, anyways, the first thing, Sutton for girl. One second. Sorry, a train was going. A train was going by. Oh my gosh, a, literally a truck was going by. I do not live right in front of train tracks. Okay, so the name is Sutton. I think that is very, very beautiful. Okay, next is Luca. I think this name is so cute. It is very unique. Again, it's very like earthy. Like I could see like a family that just like lives in a very like beige house, like very minimalistic, like in warm weather, naming their baby Luca. Like Luca, Otto, and Coast. Oh, for a family like that, I'm envisioning it in my head. I love that. Okay, next is the name. Okay, now we're starting to get a little bit more unique, okay? So we have Luca, and the next name that I love is the name Olive for girl. I'm not even joking. Don't think of the food because that's stupid. Think of it as a name, Olive. I think that is so cute. Oh my gosh. I came up with it the one day I was at work, and I was like, it's all clicked. This is going to be our baby girl's name. I love the name Olive. And then I told Grant and he laughed in my face. So you just have to find the right couple that the name Olive will work. And if it works for you, oh, I love that name. Okay, next is the name Capri. I think this name is beautiful, especially if you're like a traveler or whatnot. I just love the name Capri. I think it is beautiful for a little girl. And then the next name is Oakland. Um, I think that's just cute, Oakland. So cute. Um, the next name is this is this is very unique too, okay? And maybe a little too boho for some people, but the next name is Indy. And I think a beautiful middle name to pair with that would be Indy Blake. I I don't know why I feel like that's so cute. I probably saw it on like a Pinterest page, like above a bed or something above a crib. But I like the name Indy Blake. It would not work for me and my family, but I'm just saying I like that name. Um, the next name is Tinley. I love this name. There's someone off the Bachelor franchise, and her name is Tenley, so I love that name. Um, and then next is the name Spencer. Um, I just like that for a girl. I think that'd be cute. A girl named Spencer. I think that's so cute. The next name is Parker for a girl. I think is so cute. The first name Parker. She could go by P. I really think that going by P as a girl is like a cute nickname. Like I love that. Okay, so the next one is, the next two are very different. Um, and that is the name Winter, spelled with a Y. I think that is so unique and might be too out of someone's style, but I think it is so freaking beautiful and so cute. And they just feel like a little white, like, angel baby. Like, their nursery could be, like, so white and beautiful and heavenly. Mm, good name. Okay, speaking of white, the next name a lot of you guys are probably not going to like because it's very unique, but that is the name Snow for a little girl. I actually love that. There is a YouTuber, uh, I can't think of her name at the moment, but there is a YouTuber and she named her baby girl Snow. And when I first saw it, I was like, really? And then the more I thought about it and the more it's grown on me, I love that name for a little girl. 
Definitely a lot of people would hate it, but I like names that people don't like, so you probably won't like my name. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, and then the last name is what I literally came up with in the beginning of the video because I was just joking around. But the name Dylan actually for a girl I think could be really cute. I do think names that are like boy names turned into girl names are so cute. But that is all the names we have. I'm starting to get nervous. That little bit of coffee that I drank and spilled on me is starting to make me a little nervous. But that means next up is um, just sharing our baby boy's name. With you guys, I'm not going to do anything super special. I don't have any cute, like, video to go with it. And honestly, for our baby boy's name, there's no reason for it. Like, there's no meaning behind it. It's just a name that we like. Um, in our girl name, we did have meaning behind it. But our boy name, we don't. So our girl name, I could literally make a full video on why we chose this girl's name and why it means a lot to me. But the boy's name is honestly just a name that we like and we are sticking with. Um, I have just been keeping a secret for this video, but I'm not no celebrity. I'm not no Beyonce. I'm not no uppity, uppity, up, ups that I need to announce once my baby is born. I will share it with you guys and I want to start calling my baby by his name and not just baby. And I'm so excited to finally do that. Also, before I announce the name and before you guys click away, um, new subscribers that have now subscribed to me, would you guys like to do, like, like, blah, 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 like me to do like a QA? and a um, It could be pregnancy related or nothing to do with pregnancy at all. Um, it could be like just young couple related or literally whatever you want to know about me. I want juicy questions. I'm an open book if you know me. That's literally why I started my channel was to talk about deep conversations that people don't talk about, mental health, stuff like that. So if you wanted to do a Q&A, I would love to do that, but let me know if you'd be interested in that. And I could do that on my Instagram, get juicy questions, and then I could bring it over to my channel and create that so you guys can get to know me more because I want to be connected to my subscribers. I want you guys to know who I am, what I'm about, and yeah. Um, so I'd love to do that, but would you be interested and would you even watch it? Okay, now, our baby boy's name is... His name is Wesson Grant. That's his name. Wesson Grant. I love it. <laughs> it's not like super like climatic. It's just like his name's Wesson Grant and that's what it is. But I love that. I've always heard of, we of Weston. So it's not Weston. It is Wesson. Um, and he could go by Wes if people called him that. But I'm going to call him Wesson. And maybe down the road, um, people will call him Wes. And then Wes and Grant is the name we're pairing with it. We have thought of Wes and Scott because my grandpa Scott's name is Scott. And that would be, that's a good flow, like Wes and Scott. So the S is kind of flow beautifully. But I really, 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 really love Wes and Grant. <laughs> I love it. Um, I don't, I won't get emotional because I'm not like a crier while I'm pregnant. I actually haven't been. But I do love this name because I've always said that I want a baby boy so bad. Just in general, I've always wanted a baby boy. But also, like, to raise a little mini Grant, I am, like, so excited for it. And I feel honestly so honored and blessed to be able to raise a little baby Grant. Like, someone that is literally made from Grant, my husband. And to be able to raise another one like him. And that's, like, just such an honor to me because... I think he is such an amazing man, and he's such a good man, and um, I'm kind of getting emotional, but I can't wait. I'm so silly. I just can't wait for him to be so much like his dad, and I think when he gets older, he's just going to feel so proud to have the middle name Grant after his dad, and I think I just, I just know, like I feel my heart so much that our boy is just in the beginning, yeah, he's gonna love his mommy so much because I'm gonna be the supply to life and like he's just gonna cling on to me when he's young. But I've like so imagined like Grant building something out of wood and then our baby coming up and like having his little tool and like being just like his dad and just looking after um, his dad. And Grant looks up to his dad a lot and um, I could see so many similarities between Grant and his father. And so I can't wait to see that from my son to my husband. 
And also, um, Grant is just such a good man. He was raised so well. And I can't wait to just raise another good man in this world. I've always said that. We do obviously need more good men in this world. And I think Grant is a perfect example. And so, I don't know. It just flowed so well. Grant was not wanting his name in the baby's name necessarily. When I first like brought it up to him, he just would always say the name Weston. I would never put it together, and I love the name all together, Weston Grant. I think it's so strong, so powerful, and I love it. And Grant would always just say Weston, Weston, Weston. And I was like, why aren't you saying Weston Grant? And he's like, I don't know. I don't know if I like my name in it. He wasn't sure if it made sense. And I like talked to him about why I think it's such a beautiful name. Obviously, if he didn't like it, then we weren't going to do it. But um, I did explain to him why that he finally like came to it and like likes it. But um, Grant is just someone that's like not about him at all. So I don't think he thinks he's special enough to carry on our baby's name. But I think he is beyond special enough to carry on our baby's name. And I just, I do love his name, Grant. But also, before I stop talking about the name, another reason I love it is because it is that strong name that like Grant wanted, Weston Grant, and even just Weston in general. Um, I think it sounds like, this is going to sound so stupid, I still don't know the words for it, but like a presidential name or something, or like a patriotic name. I, not that I want my son to be like the president of the United States, but like, I just feel like it has that oomph to it and like a patriotic name or something and I am very patriotic, Grant is very patriotic and I just feel like it is literally the perfect, sorry I'm using my hand so much, it is literally just the perfect name for our little family of three now, just kidding it's a four because Barrett, our dog, he is my love, the love of my life and I don't know how I'm going to say, oh, I don't know how I'm going to do it because I always say Barrett's my favorite boy, the most beautiful boy in the world. I love him so much and I don't know how I'm going to do that now because I have two baby boys. But anyways, that's our baby's name, Weston Grant. His name is Weston and I cannot wait to meet him. I just can't wait for it. I'm so excited and I'm so excited that you guys finally know. Let me know if you guys like the name. If you don't, actually, I don't care. But hey, you can comment it down below. It won't hurt my feelings. Um, also, comment down below like any other names that you liked in this video. Like any boy names you liked, girl names you liked. Just tell me if you didn't like any names or if there's a name you're shocked that you actually do like. I just love how everyone's style and everyone is so uniquely individual. And thank you guys seriously so much for subscribing. Please, if you have not already subscribed, click the bell notification because I'm going to be posting out a lot more lifestyle videos, home, home decor. Um, right now, because I am pregnant and that is in my life, um, I am going to have a lot of home stuff or blah, 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 baby stuff. If you are interested in like in my pregnancy at all, I could do a video on that. I don't know if that's interesting enough. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Seriously, it like puts the biggest smile on my face. It makes me so excited. Because the more subscribers that I get, the more I am to be able to do my passion and the more likely I am to be able to stay at home with my baby boy in the beginning of his life and just really focus on YouTube, my passion, and um, focus on my baby and being a mom. That's what I'm, my number one focus is. That's why I wasn't posting that much in the first trimester because I couldn't and I had to focus on my health. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Seriously, thank you so much for subscribing. I will see you guys next week when I have a new video and it might be like a honeymoon vlog because I need to get that up and so I can get on to more pregnancy stuff. Okay? Bye guys! Wesson. <sighs> I knew my dog was going to bark at some point. Barrett, no, that's mama's coffee. Good morning. Come on, honey. That's mama's coffee. Come on. Move that tush.